tallest buildings under construction in Africa, the race for Africa's tallest skyscraper. Africa has erected some of the world's most impressive structures over time, including some of the world's highest towers. Beginning with only a few major cities in Africa that had skyscrapers, new developments have resulted in more cities with superstructures. Since the late 1960s and early 70s, when Anglo-American properties built the Carlton Center in central Johannesburg for about 88 million rand, which is roughly 6 million US dollars, it had held the title of Africa's tallest skyscraper. The Carlton Center in Johannesburg began the history of skyscrapers in Africa in 1973. The Carlton Center is a 223-meter-tall building with 50 habitable floors in Johannesburg. It also provides various shopping centers and eateries. Carlton Center resembles the famous One Seneca Tower in Buffalo, New York, which was completed in the same year. Carlton Center was once the tallest building in the Southern Hemisphere, but the Leonardo has dethroned that feature of the city skyline, as made official by the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat. The Leonardo in Johannesburg's affluent Santon suburb now holds the title of Africa's highest building. It is obvious that South Africa has worked its way up to command the lion's share of Africa's tallest structures, having experienced the grandeur that comes with hosting the continent's tallest towers. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship rather than global pity is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Five, the Leonardo in Johannesburg, South Africa. Currently, the distinction of being Africa's tallest building belongs to the Leonardo in Johannesburg's upmarket Santon neighborhood. The skyscraper stands 234 meter high, but projects underway in several other countries will all rise above the Leonardo. Leonardo's construction began on November 17, 2015, and the tower was completed in April 2019, making it the tallest building in Africa. At first, Bart Dorostein did not intend to build the tallest building in Africa. Initial plans for the Leonardo in Johannesburg's upmarket Santon district envisaged just 33 stories of high-end shops, offices, and apartments. When those started selling well, the developer's legacy holdings, of which he is the chief executive, and Nedbank added a few more floors to the design. Then someone suggested incorporating an eight-story luxury hotel, and suddenly the building was 234 meter tall. That is 11 meter taller than the Carlton Center in central Johannesburg, which for 45 years had gone unchallenged as the top of Africa. Standing at an impressive 234 meter, the modern Leonardo has 55 floors. The skyscraper not only boasts of being one of the tallest buildings in South Africa, but also in the whole continent. The Leonardo is undeniably impressive, aimed squarely at Africa's super rich, from the marble-clad lobby decorated with custom artwork, to the ultra-luxurious three-story penthouse on the top floors complete with professional kitchen, infinity pool, and 1,100 meter square. 4. The Iconic Tower Egypt's new administrative capital's iconic tower is rising at a rate of one story every six days or less. It is now 100 meters tall, with 16 of the planned 80 floors completed. The iconic tower is a composite high-rise structure with office, lodging, commercial, sightseeing, and other services that began construction on May 2, 2018. It has a total area of 65,000 square meters two underground floors, and 78 floors above ground. The iconic tower, located 50 kilometers east of Cairo, Egypt, is the most prominent skyscraper in the China State Construction Engineering Corporation's CBD project, CSEC. With a total area of approximately 505,000 square meters, the CBD project includes 20 new high-rise buildings and some municipal projects. 
The iconic tower is symbolic of Egypt's and China's relationship because it has allowed Chinese and Egyptian engineers to share their expertise with modern construction technologies. Hassam Berry, structural manager of the DAR supervision company in Egypt, expressed deep gratitude to the CSEC remarking that, since the tower's core 2 project began in April 2019, workers and engineers have been working around the clock to complete the project. Despite the raging COVID-19 pandemic, the general manager of CSEC Egypt explained that construction on the project has continued uninterrupted. The structure is expected to be finished by 2022. The Egyptian government also anticipates that the new capital, whose inauguration is scheduled for the end of this year, will generate approximately 2 million job opportunities. Three, the Pinnacle. Pinnacle Towers is a building in Nairobi, Kenya's capital and largest city that is currently on hold. At 70 stories and over 1,000 feet, 300 meter, in height, the skyscraper will be the second tallest building in Africa after Egypt's iconic tower and the third tallest building in the Southern Hemisphere. The skyscraper is located in Upper Hill on a 2.5 acre, 10,000 square meter, plot of land about 4 kilometers, 2 miles, southwest of Nairobi, Kenya's capital city. The Pinnacle Towers are expected to cost 200 million US dollar to build. The developers provided 50 million US dollar, with the rest coming from a Frexham bank and some Kenyan banks. 2. The F Tower The F skyscraper will be erected in Abidjan, Ivory Coast's economic hub. Although construction has yet to begin, PFO Africa, a business controlled by Lebanese Ivorian architect Pierre Fakhry, has already predicted that it will be the continent's tallest building, reaching a height of 283 meters when completed. The framework involves a 283 meters high new building office tower. The projected tower will be one of Africa's tallest and will serve as an iconic emblem of the Ivory Coast's achievement, as it will be one of the country's first skyscrapers. It is based in Abidjan's large administrative district, which already houses many corporate headquarters as well as a handful of high apartment complexes. The current construction span in height from 160 meter to 239 meter. The huge Tower F will join Towers NB, which were constructed in the late 1970s, and Towers C, D, and E, which were constructed in the 1980s. The objective of the architect was to create an ideal African tower. 1. Mohammed VI Tower The Leonardo in Johannesburg's upmarket Santon neighborhood is 234 meter high in the current holder of the prestigious title. Yet after only being officially opened in October 2019, the skyscraper is expected to be topped by the Mohammed VI Tower in the Moroccan capital of Rabat within the next three years. The 250-meter Mohammed VI Tower in Rabat, Morocco's capital, has been under construction for a year. According to Leila Hadayayoui, Deputy MD of O-Tower, a subsidiary of the privately owned finance Com SA Group, which commissioned and financed the project, the building will have 55 floors hosting a luxury hotel, prestigious offices and luxury apartments, as well as an observatory at the top of the tower. Not only can the construction endure the ordinary elements, such as severe winds or earthquake events, but it can also withstand flooding from the nearby Burgreg River. The tower is positioned 70% by its concrete core and 30% by the steel portico structure on its facade. A tuned mass damper system to decrease oscillations will be placed in the last few levels due to the apartments at the top of the tower. The facades, which cover an area of more than 70.000 meters square, 41,000 meters square for the tower and 32,500 meters square for the podium, were designed by the Sixies Facade Department. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing, and turning on your notification.